I've been personally a fan of Prince Edward Island, brought my family here for 20 years. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, but it's also it's this gorgeous place in the wintertime. We have a lot of trails that go through the woods and go across the farmer's fields, like you do here. We have a lot of road crossings too, so that's very familiar. <laughs> um, the one thing we don't have is, you know, we don't have the ocean views. so. We're looking forward to seeing that when we get down to the harbor. Are, are we going across the ice today? We are going across the ice. Are you? I'm not a big fan of ice. <laughs> um, but I know you guys said the, the guys said that the ice is about 18 inches thick and all, so I can handle that. Thanks uh, for the invite uh, here today. You're absolutely right. It's probably been about 18 years since I've been on a snowmobile, but I'm looking forward to it uh, today. Uh, and I could just say that normally when it comes to the weather uh, in PEI, uh, when it's not good, if it's raining in the summertime or snowing too much in the wintertime, we usually blame it on the fence. Uh, but because you guys are all snowmobile owners and you want lots of weather, uh, the provincial government ordered up all the snow. <laughs> out over the ocean, looking out over the beaches, through all the farmers fields. It's just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity with the help of uh, government and with the partnership of the volunteers of the PEI Snowmobile Association. There's no reason that someone shouldn't come here and expect to spend two or three days riding and enjoy the hospitality of Prince Edward Island and the beauty of the island.